Hey, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Whoa! What's what's gamer subs? That whoa! NZXT? That's cool. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Uh, another tutorial for you guys today. Check that out. If you ever wanted like a like an image slideshow that kind of goes through all your sponsors or your the things you're invested in, here's the video for you, man. Very, very easy, very simple. I'm here to teach you guys to uh that that today. This on how to do that and how to delay from picture to picture and transition to transition and how it moves and what it holds and what it does and very easy how to get like the transparency and all that stuff let's get on into it i'm keeping this video short simple okay, let's let's get into it real quick real quick so you have obs open uh, over here and uh you know here's your scene i'm gonna go ahead and add uh my my old my old display capture here so here we go we're in uh, we're in obs and uh we want to add our sponsors. Think of a name. NZXT, Viper Gaming. There's all kinds of companies out there. And when you do get a sponsor or when you do want to show off a company's name for whether that be that you get to use their, their music fixed, talking about you guys, you guys can check out their music. To have slideshows on your stream is a way to show, hey, these are my, uh, my sponsors and the people that are invested in me as a broadcaster. Uh, so I'm here to put them on display because I respect them and they are the company that maybe helps me out with gear or, or music or whatever, or they're a stream team or, or anything. So you can choose to do this in any sort of way you want, but let's go ahead and do it uh, the way that I know how to do it, which is you open up a, uh, a little browser. Uh, when you open up a browser, um, first thing you want to do is find an image of the company you're working for. So let's take NZXT for an example. So NZXT, you know, I, I could hit enter here. I could go into images and try to find like a good image, but like I want their logo. So what I'm going to type in is I'm going to do NZXT logo. And I'm going to type in PNG because that's going to give me a file that has alpha transparency most of the time. So when I type that in, I hit enter. Boom, I'm gonna get all these things here, and most of these will have some transparency uh, and alpha. Um, some, might, some may not. You can see right here, this one does not have it. You can see when you click and drag the image, you can see exactly what you're getting. So, but if I, uh, if I look over here, and I, I drag this one up, oh, there we go. So that one has some transparency in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this image in a new tab and get the full, full image right there, and I'm just gonna easily click drag bring it to my desktop boom there it is i'm gonna go ahead and just rename this really quickly to nzxt boom just like that now we need another company because we're gonna have multiple names like you could just have one image but you know the more is merrier and depending you gotta think about depending on how your background looks or how like where your your things being overlaid you can see if i move this over here my sponsors are very hard to see and that's my own fault i could try to find something that maybe could fill in the back of these sponsors so when i do drag this over maybe i have a black version of that behind it so it's kind of like you know adds a little shadow in a sense just so that you can see the name uh but right now i just have it bare bones white uh white lettering so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to find another company here let's type in my sponsors over at viper gaming and i'm gonna type in logo png here we go so we got some uh, some viper company uh, names here this is the viper gaming logo and maybe that's all i want so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and take that stick that right there we're gonna call this uh viper and uh leave that as is so now we have a couple logos here and uh we're gonna go ahead and try to put these together into a little of a, uh, a little bit of a slideshow so we're gonna go ahead and go into our sources our little source area right here let me blow that up a little bit more and we're gonna add a image slideshow so you should always rename things by the way I'm going to rename this, call this uh, Sponsors. And just like that, that looks pretty good. And over here, we got a bunch of, uh, we got a bunch of settings. And again, like always, I always say, just look at it, look what's happening with it. And just, you know, just read, read what's on the screen, man. It can be overwhelming at first. When you start to go down this one by one, you'll start to understand everything a little bit better. First, first and foremost, let's get our files in here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these into uh, a folder here called Sponsors. And I'm going to leave that as is. And over here, I'm going to go ahead and start to add those images. So I go add files and uh, from our sponsors uh, folder that we just made a second ago, I'm going to go ahead and click on NZXT. I'm going to click on the Viper giant logo and maybe the uh, the one that has a little alpha in it. And we'll leave that one off on the side for a minute. So you can already see, boom, the, uh, the, the images are already showing up for me. This will change over time. And let me go ahead and shorten this up here to... Let's call it a thousand. So now you're gonna to start to see this is changing a lot faster 
And you know, it's looking pretty good as it is. You know what I mean? That's looking pretty neat. And go ahead and lock that so I can't move it now that it's set in place. So our next step would be, um, you know, if you want to fine tune it, like you could very well leave it like this and that's it. But maybe you want to have them slide in or slide out or maybe you want them to fade in and out. So let's go back onto our, uh, our, our sponsors here and we're going to start to look at some stuff. So this thing right here, you could have it every time you switch scenes, you could have it like only start up when you switch to a certain scene. So let me go ahead and say uh, pause when not visible, unpause when visible. Let's say restart when visible. So let's click on this one right here. So the one we had selected a second ago was literally just going to keep running through it over and over and over and over and over again. And even if I switch scenes, it doesn't matter. It's going to keep going. Let me go ahead and add another scene here called scene two. Boom, just like that. So we're in this scene right now and I switch back. And now my slideshow starts again, goes on through, and it continues going through, but it'll always start where my first image was, which was NZXT. So I go back to this, I go back to here, NZXT is the first one. I go back again, go back in, NZXT again. So you can see that it's already, it always, it's restarting when I get to this scene. Back in here, let's go ahead and switch that so it's just always playing. Slide mode. So you can do like a keyframed slideshow that on command, you hit a button, your slideshows start playing. You know what I mean? You could have that happen. You get these other transitionals right here. You got slide, which is always nice, you know, kind of clean. It's what I use right now. You got swipe. I'm sorry, this is what I'm using right here. It's a nice little swipe, you know, swipes in. It's not just moving the whole image, but it swipes in. It looks kind of nice. And then you got the uh, the old fade. And then you got the old, uh, then you got the old cut. Just slam cut. Boom. New sponsor, new sponsor, new sponsor. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as, uh, let's do swipe. I feel like that looks kind of nice. Transition speed. This is how long the transition takes. So if I up this to 4,000, and we're going to watch how long it takes for this to swipe on out of here and boom revealed and just like that we're in our new uh our new show there our new image so let me go ahead and uh put this down to a thousand and put this up to four thousand and you see we're going to be able to see nzxt for four thousand milliseconds and then it's going to take a thousand milliseconds to transition to the new image i'm gonna leave it at a thousand so we're just constantly kind of seeing it change i'm gonna leave this at maybe 2000 because I like it kind of slow so one thing you can do is you can have it loop and it just keeps going 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 or you can have it uh, just play through once. And if you have it play through once, once it gets through all your scenes, it's done. And just like that, it ends up on this image and it stops because it goes through all the files. And if you enable this hide when slideshow is done, now when it goes through the whole scene transition, it'll go through this one. We got the Viper Gaming logo. Then we got the Viper Gaming logo with the text. And then that'll go away and boom, slideshow's over. And you can set that to a hotkey. That way maybe you have an image that pops up that maybe shows Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime or something like that, just to remind your 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 viewers what you want them to do. You now, if you got that Amazon Prime, you might as well link it to Twitch and uh, get yourself 30 days of free sub and channel you want. So back over in here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uncheck the hide when slideshow is done. Now, another thing you can do is you can sit here and uh, move these files around. So maybe I don't want NZXTDB first. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that guy at the bottom. You know what? I'm gonna put him right in the middle. So it's gonna go the Viper Gaming logo, then it's gonna swap to the NZXT. And then we're going to go to the Viper Gaming logo with the text attached to it, and then it'll restart. You can also hit the randomized playback. And when you do that, it's literally just going to choose at random what comes up next. So pretty cool, pretty simple. I don't think there's anything else you guys would really need to know. So once you have your sponsor set up, again, like you'll have this, uh, this thing you'll be able to move around. You know, you set it to the size you want. And maybe while this is going through, like I could sit here and hold Alt and, you know, drag this up and make it just perfectly right there. Got to have that loop on there. And then, but now you realize, oh man, my uh, my other thing's a little bit bonkers. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that go back out. That'll be good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up in a corner and maybe kind of keep it small. You don't want it to be overbearing on your stream where it's just like, hey, this is the company that I'm working with. You know, keep it kind of simple and small and you know, still you're showing respect to the company. So there you go, there it is. That's a simple slideshow, very, very easy. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you whenever I can. A couple people have asked me, like, I, I wouldn't, I would totally love to get a sponsor uh, slideshow going. Again, the biggest thing that you'll have to worry about is milliseconds and how long you want your images on screen for. And you just got to play around with it and figure out what you like, man. I mean, I have my, my sponsor slideshow. They're rolling for, you know, they, they hold there for a good, you know, five to 10 seconds before maybe swapping because I'm streaming all day. But at the same time, a viewer that comes in, I want to make sure that they see the companies that I'm working with because I respect and support them as much as they respect and support me. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, simple video. Hope this helped. Hope this helped. I hope this helps somebody out there. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. 
hopefully this helps i don't i don't i'm trying to give you guys all the tutorials all the little the little things you know what i mean because some people don't know how to do this some people load up uh, obs be like man i want that i want that transition i don't know how to do it i don't know how to do i don't know how to do a slideshow i don't know how to put up a a, a picture on my thing i don't know how to do this or that i'm here to help man i'm just gonna make these videos this is all going into like an, its own obs folder so yeah hopefully it'll uh it'll help you guys out thank you guys for watching again do appreciate it i know i've said that like 17 times <laughs> i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching and see you next time